welcome to Seen Through Glass and welcome to Monaco. I am so excited to be back here. No trip to Monaco is complete without these two. Oh. <laughs> yes. Paul Wallace, Supercars London, Seb Delaney, Seb Delaney, France, friend, Seb France, Seb FR, FR, yeah. and Seb, Seb Delaney uh, are here. You, you're just here doing your own thing, aren't you? Why are you here? We, we just spoke about it and we were like, we want to go down to Monaco to spend some time here. It's lovely. Look how nice the weather is. It's so nice. Why not? <laughs> Every time I come here, lots of you ask me to do a lap around the Monaco Grand Prix circuit. Now, obviously, one of the coolest parts about coming to Monaco is the fact you can drive around the circuit any time of year. But this time of year, April, the track is starting to take shape. It's trying to take full. They've resurfaced. The resur we touched hands a little bit there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the barriers are up, and it's very easy to imagine you are Lewis Hamilton or Valtteri Bottas. Uh, or someone else who's much cooler than Valtteri Bottas. <laughs> uh, so that is today's challenge. What? What are you going to say? Cool. I was just going to say Bottas. I think it's very good. Cool. Oh. You just got pole. Uh, so today's challenge is to see who can set the fastest lap around the Monaco Grand Prix circuit obeying speed limits because that is a good thing to say yes it's we can't literally just go and just do mental laps it is still open to the public there yeah. are buses twizzies humans lots of tourists so there are constraints the interesting thing will be to see is who can negotiate the traffic and the pedestrian crossings and sometimes the police checks the fastest. Paul, you're going to be driving? A McLaren 720 Spider. I hope you make it off the start line. <laughs> I will be in the 992 Carrera S and Seb. I'm going to be in the Renault Twizy. Which I have to say is iconically Seb, but also quite worrying because if that doesn't win, then yeah. it goes against everything that Twizy stands for. Yeah, so, it does. Yeah, Did um, you know you can hire a Twizy for 30 euros per hour in Monaco? Right, anyway, so we're going to get ready, head to the start line and get started with today's challenge. that this is uh, my challenge. I am going first and you join me in the 992 pulling on to the star finish straight of the Grand Prix circuit. Always a special feeling and you can see immediately the tarmac changes. So I've got to find the actual star line. Already there were really loud motorbikes and rental cars to kind of negotiate. There's roadworks. Um, I also need to find actually, I can see Seb and Paul up there. Okay, fine. So. I'll pull up to them for the start moment. I'm going to go into Sport Plus, a little bit aggressive, considering that the speed limit is about 50 kilometers an hour. But every little bit I can get, every little bit I can get. Okay, so here the guys are. He's away! That's the slowest start we've ever seen. A very slow pull away. <laughs> to try and carve up traffic. That is going to be the key in this challenge, is carving up traffic, trying to predict where tourist and Monegasque residents are going. Now this is, I really can't push speed in this area because you're about to see Casino Square is full of people. Excuse me, excuse me, no I can't rev, I'm on a challenge, excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. You can't beep in Casino Square, by the way. It's like one of the rudest things to do. Oh, these people are taking photos of the casino. Move! Move! Okay, what are these people doing? They are literally just walking in the middle of the road. Yeah, thank you very much. Out of the way. This is actually a road, not a pedestrian zone. But yes, one thing I was gonna say, which is a negative about the 992, is its size. It feels big. It is no longer the little nimble 911s of the 70s. Anyway, we're out of Casino Square, definitely the most congested section. And that was a police car, so. Gotta keep it, I'm still doing only 44 kilometers an hour. There's a man crossing the road at a snail's pace. I realise you've eaten too many burgers in your life, but crack on, matey. Oh, now there's people crossing going to McDonald's. Sorry, okay, going for it. I was gonna try and overtake the van before the tunnel, but oh, it's a bit sketchy doing it. Now the chicane down here 
isn't in place until the actual Grand Prix weekend. So right now it's a straight line. This is the only bit which is which is kind of like not really like the actual track. Um, so we're taking the old route. This is like the old 60s Monaco where you go straight and have the very, very tight chicane a little bit further down than the modern day one. And I'm going to be following this Peugeot van the whole way, so I am going to be trying to overtake him into the swimming pool section. Not an obvious overtaking place during the Grand Prix, but man's got to do what a man's got to do, so... But... Oh, he's gone. He's pulled in. He's pulled in. Okay. <laughs> this hasn't gone well. This hasn't gone well. But as I said, I know that Seb and Paul are going to come across their own traffic through the swimming pool through there a bit. I will admit that was 53 kilometers an hour. That I will admit I broke the speed limit. Please, no, don't stop. Figure out where you're going. Oh no, oh what the... no okay honestly I'm gonna I'm gonna honk you. Dude that that was a time killer. Oh I wish I could go faster and stop Okay. So about four and a half minutes slower than a Formula One car. <laughs> ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. Okay, that, I think he broke the speed limit already. I'm not sure he's suspected. I would not feel confident if I were you. <laughs> now Sam did a five minute. I'm gonna overtake this moped here. Good day. <laughs> this is the weirdest race ever. This is, I mean, a fantastic experience to drive the track in a convertible McLaren. I feel as close to an open wheel racer McLaren that there ever is. Uh, the police, not good. You can't rev it by police because I'll be arrested. And then my lap time will uh, actually be really badly affected because uh, it will probably be over 24 hours because I'll end up in Monaco jail. Oh, this traffic. I mean, these guys, well, everyone wants to, me to rev it. No, not with the police. <laughs> Look at the police right here. They're like, no supercars. Now, I thought that I was cool driving a convertible 720S, but in fact now, I'm very, very aware and self-conscious of the amount of people that have been filming me and photographing me. A little acceleration down the hill as we come into the Fairmont Hairpon. Hairpon, <laughs> for God's sake. The Fairmont Hairpon. Tourists everywhere blocking the road. Here we go. I've got the tunnel to myself. There is no way of cheating, which is really annoying me because I want to cheat because I feel like this is a slow lap time. history of Monaco traffic ever been traffic around Raskas. And there we go. Bang, seven minutes, <laughs> 53 what and 47. What happened? Nearly eight minutes. What yeah. happened? Ah, oh, there was so much traffic. We thought you got hounded in Casino <laughs> Square, all broke down. Yeah. <laughs> you guys ready? Okay. Yes, you ready? ready? I already know what they're going to be saying. They're going to be joking about how my start was a little bit slower and less dramatic than theirs. But I 
You see, I can squeeze. Oh, no, I can't because there's this bike out of my way. Okay, thank you very much. There we go. I'm going to be squeezing as much as I can past people. Power! You know, I feel like Daniel Ricciardo in this situation. I'm driving a Renault and I've taken the maybe less predictable, more risky choice that may pay off. Okay, he's gone around the outside. There's a silver Porsche in front of me, taunting me. Brilliant. Marvellous. I'm, I'm feeling a bit less confident now. I've been... I, I thought I had this in the bag, but that Casino Square run was no bueno. Coming round the world famous Lowe's Hairpin. They used to call it Lowe's Hairpin, actually, funnily enough, because the hotel used to be called Lowe's. It's now called Fairmont, and people just haven't really rebranded it. This Porsche's making a lot of noise in front of me. It's rather tasty, but it'd be lovely if we could go faster. Thank you. That's what I need. But it will be now. Keep going. Don't stop there. Don't stop there. Keep going. Keep going. Thank you. Fantastic. I'm going for the overtake. I've done the overtake. This is where the twizzy comes in handy. Yes! Now I'm going around the pool. Yes! Now we're getting speed. Come on, on the smooth racetrack. That, that's what could have gotten me the win right there. I see him! There he is! Oh, he's speeding! Uh, that, is, that is quick. That is too quick. So, disqualified for speeding, firstly. Six minutes 30. No! How did you do that? <laughs> Three people, <laughs> and you definitely sped down that street. I was a little bit, but barely. Qualified for speeding, firstly. <laughs> I actually don't know how that happened. Like I, I know I, I, ate a, I ate a pizza as long as it took except to get around the yes, track. Yes, that's actually the most shocking thing. Time. Is that a whole pizza? And it's no, a slice. Just, oh just my god, that looks so good. Do you want some? Is it gluten free? Truth is, if you want to go around Monaco for one second really quick when it's not the F1 weekend, choose me as a driver. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you have, and make sure you subscribe for plenty more videos to come. This is genuinely the very first time that I've stepped inside. The 992. Sounds like a Porsche. <laughs> Sounds like a Porsche. Digital dials. That is all new. Now, the one thing which I will say, and I'm going to get into this throughout the day, is that 